What's going on everybody? I'm back and I'm going to do another pod review for you. My name is Andrew and this is the White Booch Lokia. It's a cool looking pod from Jim Duffy at Refining Fire Chilies. Don't see very many white chilies very often and uh, he usually has them so that's it's a cool variety. It's not, it's, the thing is as white as it gets. can uh, definitely see it's a little bit of <clears throat> some vein in there not too much a little bit of placenta can check that out a few seeds in there I'm gonna pull those out real quick I don't keep them to grow them really I just don't like eating them in all honesty as I'm sure you've heard me say on an occasion I've had these pods for a while. I haven't done a, a review in a while because I've. And if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Uh, I just haven't felt up to eating a chili this week. So. Let me. So here's the. White Boot Jalokia from Refining Fire Chilies. Thank you, Jim, for sending this. Cheers, everybody. It's got an interesting flavor. It's kind of hard just to describe. It's a little tangy. Um, the heat's starting out mostly on the tongue. There's a little bit in the throat, like right in here. Most of the heat is in the tongue and in the roof of the mouth. Doesn't have an overwhelming, uh, a floral flavor um, like most boots have. A ooh, there's a hiccup. <laughs> it's interesting because it's not extremely hot. My body's probably just not used to it because I haven't done a hot pod review in over a week. I think the last one I ate was Sunday. But for all of you who, uh, everything, everything's going to be fine. Um, we're doing all right. Uh, we just had to make some adjustments around the house. But, uh, <gasps> enough about me. I'm getting a little 
bit of a sweat going on my body and my uh, forehead. Um, could be to do the fact that it's in the high 90s here in Florida during the day, mid to high. And uh, my thermostat's upstairs, so if I put it on even 80, the air conditioner will be blasting all day long, so I can't really afford to have it on all the time. Um, the lowest I'll actually put it on is at 70, is 77, and that's at night um, to get some air in the house. Uh, that's a, I mean, that chili is a, it was still crispy. I've had it for quite a while. Um, it still was very tasty, very crispy. It had a slight sweet tangy flavor. Um, didn't have that standard boot flavor that people are used to. Most people don't like, frankly. Um, the heat is... I'd say it's plateaued now, like it's not getting any hotter, uh, but it's kind of, I mean, it's still hanging out, it probably will for quite some time, probably another 10 to 15 minutes. Um, it mostly is in the mouth, um, almost exclusively on the tongue and on the sides of the tongue. Um, But overall, it's a great tasting chili. Um, so if you want, go ahead and... Uh, I had his card around here somewhere. Here it is. Check out Jim Duffy at Refining Fire Chilies. Here's his card. You can find his website at www.superhotchilies.com. Proud to offer the rarest and the hottest chili seeds, plants, and fresh chilies. Here's his... Uh, his name, his phone number. If you're uh, tech savvy and you have one of those scanners, go ahead and scan that. It'll take you right to its website on your smartphone. But thanks again, Jim, for sending that. I really appreciate it. Um, I did get your other shipment, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, uh, thanks again for watching, guys. My name is Andrew. Um, over here on the channel, we're always trying to spice it up, and that'll definitely do it. So, uh, again, like, comment, subscribe, um, and I'll see you in the next review. Thanks. Have a good night.